Hello, I'm Sean Fitzgerald, Managing Director of Breeding Buildings. When I was doing full-time research at the University of Cambridge on natural ventilation, we found out that many naturally ventilated buildings just used far more heating energy than they were supposed to. We identified that the real problem was cold drafts. Most buildings will require some form of draft mitigation when the outside temperature is below 15 degrees centigrade. Air brought in below that temperature onto somebody is frankly too cold. We identified that in a typical classroom, for example, there is a lot of heat generated inside already. Let's take a standard classroom, 30 children, 70 watts, that's 2.1 kilowatts of heat, plus a lighting load of 600 watts and an IT load of 300 watts. That is a heat load of three kilowatts. The minimum fresh air requirement for a classroom is 150 litres per second. And if you run the numbers, you will find out that a heat load of three kilowatts and an air stream of 150 litres per second is enough to have the air warmed up by about 16 degrees C. So if your target is 21 degrees centigrade as a comfortable environment to live in, that building should not need heating until the outside temperature falls to around 6 degrees C. But radiators have been turned on when the outside temperature falls below 15 degrees C. And that is the Achilles heel of natural ventilation, which we addressed by inventing the E-Stack. The E-Stack works as follows. Instead of bringing the air in at low level, we bring the air in at high level in winter and mix the air coming in with enough interior air to mitigate the cold drafts. Let's just see how it really works by looking at some numbers. Take our S series, which involves a square shaft of, say, internal dimensions 1200 by 1200. The way it works is that we have a central divider, an annulus, a circular duct of about 900 millimetres diameter. And what we do is that we bring air in through the middle of the shaft at fresh air requirement 150 litres per second and we mix it with warm room air. On a cold winter day when it's 5 degrees centigrade outside and your target temperature in the classroom is 20, 21, when you run the numbers what, what you find is that you need to mix something like 300 litres per second of warm room air with 150 litres per second of cold fresh air. The two air streams collide and are delivered as a mixed air stream laterally to the space in the classroom. People ask me why do we mix the air and get the air leaving horizontally? Because that's what we always do. That's our mixing chamber. The easiest way to think about it is if we didn't deliver the air horizontally, what would happen? So let's go and look at what happens if you deliver the air vertically. An alternative, one might think, is that you're going to have mixed air coming down through the middle of the shaft. On a cold winter day at 5 degrees centigrade, you need to mix that 150 litres per second of cold air with 300 litres per second of warm room air. So if you make a heroic assumption that you can actually get that mixed air stream 450 litres per second now, delivered downwards, through a shaft annulus of 900 millimetres diameter, you're left with, unfortunately, a further problem. 450 litres per second of fresh air being delivered through a vertical duct of 900 millimetres or thereabouts diameter will result in an air stream of 15 degrees C on a five degree C day, 15 degrees C air being blown down on your head at a speed of 0.7 meters per second. Think about it. 
15 degrees C air being blown down at 0.7 meters per second constitutes a cold draft. Fortunately, the new school regulations tell us that it isn't just about the temperature of the air hitting somebody that needs to be within five degrees of the ambient, it needs to be slow. It needs to be less than 0.25 meters per second onto somebody. So that's why we don't have mixed air being delivered vertically in our systems. It simply fails to meet the new school regulations. We care very much about thermal comfort at breathing buildings. We'd love to work with you, so we look forward to hearing from you about your projects.